It's the beginning of a new year and a new decade, and it's the perfect time to thank you for your company's membership in the American Staffing Association. You know, ASA couldn't do everything we do to promote and protect the interests of the staffing, recruiting, and workforce solutions industry and your company without your support. 2019 was another tremendously successful year for ASA, and, and I'd like to take this opportunity to spotlight just a few of our major accomplishments. Of course, it starts with advocacy. With your support and participation, our industry's voice was heard loud and clear by key decision makers in the Congress, the White House, regulatory agencies, and state and local legislatures. At the federal level, the year started out with a really significant victory. As you may remember, the Trump administration issued final regulations confirming the position advocated by ASA that staffing companies could take advantage of the tax deduction for pass-through businesses that was created by the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. The great majority of industry firms are pass-through businesses, and they benefited tremendously from this new provision. U.S. Department of Labor officials reached out to ASA again to solicit our views about important initiatives, including the department's proposed overtime rules under the Fair Labor Standards Act. ASA submitted comments supporting proposed regulations to update the interpretation of joint employer status under the FLSA. The recently announced new joint employer rule included ASA's input. We also met with officials from OSHA regarding temporary worker safety, with the EEOC commissioners as part of a high-level task force to prevent workplace harassment, and with members of Congress and the staff of House and Senate committees to discuss workforce issues and the critically important roles that our industry plays in the U.S. economy. Now, as a result of these efforts, government officials in our nation's capital have an even greater appreciation for the contributions that firms like yours make to the workforce and to our overall economy. Of course, while there was a lot of activity at the federal level last year, there were even more challenges to face in the states. And ASA worked closely with our affiliated chapters, various business coalitions, and the lobbyists retained by ASA throughout the country to persuade state legislators and local municipality leaders to defeat or mitigate the impact of damaging bills and ordinances which saved our member companies tens of millions of dollars. Once again in 2019, ASA published numerous articles and issue papers to ensure that members had the latest and most accurate information about new legal and regulatory compliance issues affecting their businesses and their clients on topics like I-9 rules, workplace class actions, antitrust laws, laws governing communications with candidates and employees, and much more. In 2019, we also added to our already robust portfolio of industry research, industry economic data, benchmarking reports, and analysis to help members make better, informed, data-driven strategic decisions. Here are a few key highlights that uh, we rolled out in the past year. They include projections for staffing sales, gross margin, and net income, an updated bill rate fact sheet, an enhanced temporary help wage tool, weekly staffing stats benchmarking data, ASA research briefly e-newsletters, and expanded partnerships that resulted in even more essential industry data and industry analysis. Now, in addition to these new resources, we continue to provide critical business intelligence to members through the ASA Staffing Index, which is the only close to real-time source of staffing employment data the ASA Staffing and Employment and Sales Survey, which provides the country's only quarterly benchmarking data. If you haven't done so already, I encourage your company to participate in all of our surveys because by answering just a few key questions, you'll receive exclusive reports that we don't publish publicly. They include information such as gross margin benchmarks and, and other key data that we break out by sector and by company size. ASA remained committed to advancing industry professional development in 2019 and more than 14,500 people tuned into 78 webinars on a wide variety of critically important staffing and business topics ranging from compliance to leadership skills to innovative recruitment and sales strategies and much more. 
To address our members' need for information on understanding and leveraging new technology, ASA launched a new quarterly webinar series that we call Staffing Tech Insights. And of course, we continue to provide the quarterly ASA State of the Industry webinar series sponsored by the Association Satisfaction Survey Partner, Clearly Rated. These webinars feature new market research and insights, legal and legislative updates, and interviews with top industry executives. Advancing industry professionalism is another critically important pillar for ASA. And so we're very proud to report that close to 1,000 staffing professionals joined the top echelon of industry peers by becoming ASA certified. Congratulations to all who earned the staffing industry's most respected credentials in 2019. You ask ASA for more meaningful and diverse ways to engage with your industry colleagues last year, and ASA delivered. We launched 10 ASA State Networks in 2019 and hosted 40 events, including lunch and learns, coffee meetups, and networking happy hours, where we addressed pressing operational and legal issues. And we debuted a new meetings program called ASA Staffing Connect. These regional conferences focus on opportunities for rich information sharing and networking among peers who are located in the same geographic parts of the country. Upcoming events include Staffing Connect East in Charlotte, North Carolina on April 22nd through the 24th, and Staffing Connect South in Irving, Texas, May 13th through the 15th. And if you were there, you know that Staffing World 2019 in Las Vegas was a huge success. The ASA Annual Convention and Expo was reimagined and transformed in 2019 to offer even more opportunities for learning, for sharing, and for networking with staffing professionals from around the country and around the world. Be sure to mark your calendar to join us on October 20th through the 22nd, Nashville, Tennessee, because that's where we're going to hold Staffing World 2020. In the year ahead, ASA will offer our members new tools and strategies to accelerate the growth of member firms as well as the overall growth of our industry. And you can count on ASA to work with you every day to be your voice and advocate with regulators, with the courts, and in the court of public opinion. In closing, if you haven't already done so, I want to encourage you and your fellow team members to get involved or even more involved with ASA because by volunteering, you help make our association even stronger. On behalf of the ASA Board of Directors and staff, thank you for your membership and your commitment to our industry's future. We also really want to thank the ASA corporate partners who support everything we do and who help advance industry interests. Those corporate partners include worldwide specialty programs, essential staff care, clearly rated, Monster, Bullhorn, and Career Builder. On behalf of the ASA Board of Directors and staff, we want to thank you for your membership and your commitment to our industry's future. We look forward to working together to support your firm to continue to drive industry growth and prosperity in 2020 and beyond.